How is everybody doing today? My name is Buzz, and welcome to The Binding of Isaac, a let's play that I've been avoiding for a very long time. And the reason I've been avoiding it, because you gotta explain everything in this game when you start a let's play of it. Because it is a very, very complicated game, and I am very bad at explaining things. So, hopefully I do a okay job at least, but let's get right into it. I'll give you a little backstory as we go. We're going to start as the main character. There are seven characters currently. And uh, we're going to start out as Isaac, the title character. Okay, so when you start out, this is a top-down sort of platformer. And you can see here the move keys are WASD. You attack with the arrow keys. To plant a bomb, you press E or shift. I use E. And to use an item, which you could see up here, you press spacebar. And there are two kinds of items in this game. There are passive items, which increase your stats, which are here. This is your range stat, your damage stat, your uh, fire rate stat, and your speed stat. And regular items will just increase those, but spacebar items have other effects that you can play on certain floors. And I'm sorry if the game volume is too loud. Uh, there's no volume slider in this game, so if it's overpowering my voice, um, sorry, <laughs> hopefully it isn't, but uh, let me give you an example of what a room is like. So you'll see you walk into a room and there's enemies. Rooms are normally harder than that, but another thing that I have to explain real quick, <laughs> what I just picked up off the floor was called a spirit heart, and those are dropped randomly, and think of them as armor. You, so you see here I have three, this is my life, I have three red hearts to start out with, and red hearts are replenishable. But spirit hearts are like armor tacked onto my red hearts, so once they once they get taken away, um, they're gone. They're gone for good, but red hearts can be replenished. So let me give you another example of what rooms are like. These are really bad examples of rooms. That room didn't even have any enemies in it. Uh, let me go up here, see what we can find. Uh, I'll explain that room later. Alright, so here's a good room. So you'll see... I sh shoot that poop, and then these enemies start attacking me. And you want to basically <laughs> shoot them with your tears. Isaac uses his tears to attack people. That bomb is going to blow up. And uh, the tears increase in damage depending on the items that you pick up and such things as those. But, oh dear, these guys are like jihad. <laughs> they run after you and try and explode on you. But if you shoot them in time, they will blow up themselves. So you see here, I got another spirit heart, which is just more armor. And this right here is keys, is a key. So you'll see up here, I have coins, I have bombs, and I have keys. And coins allow you to buy things in a room called the shop. Bombs allow you to blow things up, like rocks and such things. And keys allow you to open doors, <laughs> which who'd have thunk, right? So right here, this gold-plated door frame is called the item room. Inside it, it spawns an item. And this is a perfect opportunity to show you what my spacebar item does. So my spacebar item is called the D6, or the dice. And what that does is, is it allows me to re-roll an item in the item room. So I play it, and I got, an, I got a really good item. This is called the miter, which is what the Pope wears. Um, there's a lot of biblical references in this game. Uh, it's actually completely based off stories in the Bible. But yes, here's more money. So what the miter allows you to do is, I think it occasionally gives you a chance to uh, have damage block, or it's like a shield, sort of, occasionally. But as you see, just hold down, you can hold down the arrow keys, uh, <laughs> hold down the arrow keys in order to attack. And yeah, so, I have quite a bit of experience with this game, I've been playing it for a really long time. Here's a bomb, here's a key, and this right here is the boss room. But anyways, let me finish what I was saying. I have a quite a bit of experience with this game. I'm not saying that I'm a pro or anything, but I do love this game, so I figured I would go ahead and give a let's play of it. So we're gonna fight the boss right now, which is in this room right here. So let's enter, and we're versing Pin. And Pin is basically just a worm that kind of jumps around and tries to, tries to hit you. He's considered not one of the harder bosses, but since we aren't doing very much damage, we didn't get any damage upgrades or anything, um, we won't be ver doing very much damage to him, so this might not be a very quick fight. Although, we are taking, or we're giving a lot of damage to him. 
and he shoots those explosive sort of bomb things. And if I get hit by one of those, I'll be poisoned, and it will give explosive damage, which will do even more hearts than it normally would. Ow. So you'll see there, Spirit Heart took that hit for me, and so that only did half a heart of damage. I'm trying to explain and fight this guy at the same time. This is very challenging. Oop. There we go. So once my spirit hearts are gone, then it'll just go to uh, regular hearts. And then I can replenish my regular hearts. One more hit should do this guy in, I think. There we go. So here's another spirit heart. And this right here is an HP upgrade. So you'll see, once I take this, I will get another red heart. Like that. So, do I want to do anything else on this floor? No, I think we're good. We're going to go down to the next floor. So you advance floors by jumping down those sort of trap door looking things. And if I were to show you the opening sequence, you would understand it better. Basically, Isaac is running away from his mother and jumps into the basement. And his mother is trying to run after him and kill him. It's, it's a very weird game. I know, just, just go with it. And so he's running away and fighting off all these enemies in the basement, trying to get away from her. And that's kind of the plot, so he's going deeper into his basement. Um, this right here, this item, is the is called the mu magic mushroom or something, and that just gives me an all stats up. So, very good item. We're getting some pretty good items to start out with here. I am liking, liking this let's play so far. So these guys aren't too hard. Basically, you kill them, and, uh, and they just spawn flies. And flies aren't very hard to kill. That guy will spawn a bomb. You can see our dice up there is recharged. So with spacebar items, there's a recharge time on them. And so it'll be a, you have to complete a certain number of rooms before you can use them again. And in this case, it takes, I think, six rooms for the D6 to recharge. I could be mistaken. Get back here. These guys like to run away from you. In The Binding of Isaac, uh, it's all about memorization of patterns and certain enemies. So since I've played this a lot, I kind of know... Uh, what each enemy does. And if you shoot poop sometimes... Th these are turrets, by the way. If you shoot them, sometimes money drops out. Or something like that. Uh, we will hopefully get more keys, because you'll see up there, up top in the middle, I have zero currently, and I kind of want more. Let's kill these guys right up here. I do like the soundtrack to this game. I think it's very fitting, though. And the artwork is good. This game is created by Ed McMillan and Florian Hansel or somebody? I don't know his name. I know Edmund McMillan is the artist though. And he's the guy who did uh, he's the guy who did Super Meat Boy, which was a very fun game. I don't think that's I, I don't want to do a let's play of that just because I'm pretty terrible at it. Tried it a couple times. Kill these guys. Here's a key. So we'll visit the shop once I explore this room up here. Oh yeah, here's the map over here in this corner if you didn't already notice. That basically just shows you which rooms you've been to and which rooms you have yet to explore. Same ro room layout as last time. Let's kill these guys real quick. Another spirit heart. Spirit hearts aren't, that, aren't this common. They're normally pretty rare. We're getting pretty lucky. But you'll see how this rock right here, if you notice that it's kind of a different color than the rest of them, if you drop a bomb next to this kind of rock, goodies pop out. So in this case, we got a spirit heart and a bomb. Normally, spirit hearts drop out of it. That's kind of what happens usually. And I could get to those chests because I do have bombs, but I don't really feel like it. Let's see if we can get... There's things called secret rooms, and we found it. You leave a bomb by a wall, and sometimes there's a secret room there. So we got some nice money. And we're going to take a visit to the shop, which you'll see up on the map, is right up here. So with our key, we'll enter the room, and I think we will take it. So you'll see, if you watch our money right up here, I'm going to walk over what's called the treasure map. And that's basically a map of each floor that we go to, and our money goes down once I take it. So, let's fight the boss. We are fighting Famine. Famine is, co is called one of the Horsemen of the Apocalypse, and it's basically the Horsemen of the Apocalypse are named after things that plague the world, so there's like war, um, pestilence, and there's a couple different others, but 
there's only four of them since there's the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Oh, ouch. It's hard to talk and play this game at the same time. Ah, uh, I hate these guys. These stupid flies that shoot. But luckily we've got some really good de um, defense here. There we go. So now this is his second form where he splits off into a head. If you haven't noticed, this, this game's pretty gruesome. Uh, there we go. So you notice here, here's a uh, another what's called a tinted rock. So we'll blow it up because it is a different color than the rest of them, and we got a spirit heart out of it. So we are doing very well. This is called the cube of meat. Cube of meat just floats around you, as you'll notice, and it just blocks in blocks incoming shots. So right now our defense is fantastic. And this room that I just walked into is called a deal with the devil room. And what happens is you walk in here, and this is basically a statue of Satan. And these are Satan's offerings for me. So I offer my life to take one of these items. And not only does it take away two hearts, as you'll see here, but it takes away the com total complete heart containers. So I will never be able to replenish those hearts if I decide to take one of these items. And I'm going to play my uh, D6 here. And I very much like this item here, which is called the nail. And I'm going to take it. <laughs> so I will show you what that does in a little while once we go down to the next floor, which we'll do right now. Okay, so we are going down to the caves one, if you'll see in the bottom left hand corner. And what the nail does, I will show you, is it turns us into this big demon thing, and it basically gives us a stats bump. So now you'll see our tiers are red, and that just means that we're doing tons more damage. Another key. And you'll see it added another spirit heart once I used it. So this is a very, very good item. It is a spacebar though, so it does have a recharge on it. I can't use it every room. These guys are annoying. Get over here. I'm really happy with this character so far. I was I was really hoping to get a good character build this <laughs> for the first episode, which I think we've proven to do so pretty well. Ow! Oh. These guys shoot in a diagonal pattern. They're called gishes. Another key, very good. And these guys just chase after you. These guys are called hemoglobin. And the reason they're called that is because <laughs> they're not dying on cue. Is, yeah, see how they fall into that little pile of mush? They regenerate their health. So I shoot them, and then he gets back up. Which makes them kind of an annoyance. But what are you going to do? They're not too bad once you learn how to fight them. Getting a couple frame rate drops here and there, but not too terrible. Hopefully, my computer can handle it. Oop. Hold up. Gotta get this guy. There we go. He's dead. These guys. This guy shoots. He just kind of shoots out of his mouth a couple times here and there. Money, 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 money. Very good. We can visit the shop up there. If you saw that in the very beginning. So there was a DLC for this called Wrath of the Lamb, and I just recently bought that. So there are a couple new enemies in here that I don't really know. Before, when I didn't have the DLC, I pretty much was kind of boring playing the game because I knew so much about it. Now it feels like a fresh start, sort of. Very good. That's a that's a heart. That's not a heart container. That's just if I were to take a if I were to take a little damage there, uh, it would just replenish my red hearts. So let's move on to the next room. My nail has recharged, so we will play that. Doing very well. These are just faster versions of those guys that we were fighting before. You can tell because they have their eyes. Okay. We will enter the item room. And I don't want that item, so we will not take it. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here. Alright, so I didn't explain what this room before was. Uh, this room, when I walk on those spikes, obviously I'm going to take damage. But, since they're in this room, uh, there's a chance that an, either an item or a chest will spawn, and it'll give me free stuff. But, I'm not the risky type, so we're not going to do that. It's the same sort of thing for that room. If I were to walk into that room, I would take damage, but there's a chest in there already, and it'll give you stuff. But... I don't want to get hurt right now because we're doing pretty well on health and I don't really want to lose it. 
Uh, we'll go up here into the shop, check it out. Okay. Um, we'll take this for seven cents. This is called Mom's Coin Purse. And this gives us pills. And pills, um, they kind of have random effects. So you see up here, pill came up. And question mark, question, question mark, question mark, question mark. Because you don't know what it is until you use it. And we will use it, press Q. And we got a health down. That is not good. <laughs> um, so they'll give you random either stat buffs or stat downs. It's kind of a risk when you use them. And that's called bad gas. That just does poison damage to enemies around you. Tears up. Okay, that was good. And that's a health down pill. We are not going to take it. So you'll see that it identifies it now since I've already taken the pill. So we're going to head down here to fight the boss. Hopefully I'm doing a good enough job explaining this for you. Uh oh, the Fallen. This is kind of a hard boss, so see what we can do against him. Oh, I did. I used my nail. I should have saved my nail for the boss fight. Oh! <laughs> I did not want to get hit by that. So this this is a two-stage enemy. Basically what happens is once he gets down to half, half health, he splits into two like that. And basically does the same thing as before, just a bit harder to dodge because there's two versions of him. Oy. And then he charges you like this. I'm not that fast. Oh! <laughs> I was not expecting that. Ouch. Oh, no. Taking some bad damage here. Oh, man. <laughs> Luckily, my nail replenishes my damage. Dang, I'm playing like garbage right now. Oop. Get out of here. And he's dead. So whenever you defeat the Fallen, he gives you sort of like an evil item. And this item is called the Pact. And what the Pact does is it gives you a damage up, and then also gives you more spirit hearts. So, very good item. Uh, let's check our stats right now. Pretty good damage, pretty good range, pretty good fire rate. Okay, speed. Let's continue down to the next floor. Okay. Um, so, since we have the map, we know where pretty much the treasure room is. Or the secret room. Oh! Charging me like that. I was not expecting that. Get away from me! Uh, so you see those white flies right there? Ow, stop it. I'm taking some really bad damage. So those white flies, when you shoot the poop that they're circling around, uh, they come after you. They get all angry. And they just kind of get in the way sometimes. They're just kind of an annoyance. Ooh. I'm not liking these rooms right now. Luckily, we started out with a ton of health. So I can afford to take a couple of dumb hits here and there. So unfortunately, these videos can be pretty long, or at least uh, when you play through a game, when you play through the game, these videos could be pretty long. You could be looking at the timer right now, and it could be like 40 minutes, and you could be a little intimidated by that because you're like, I don't want to, I don't want to spend 40 minutes watching this guy play the Binding of Isaac, and I don't want that. Um, so I don't know if you guys want me to like speed up some parts or something. Give me some feedback. If you want to watch the full game, that's fine with me. I'm fine with sitting here talking to myself for 45 minutes. Of course, they won't all be 45 minutes. Some of them could be 20 minutes, depending on how well I do in the game. Getting to the final boss takes a little while, though. Uh, let's go this away. Nope. Okay, so we haven't explored this side over here, so hopefully we'll find an item room or a shop of some sort. Oh, the shop is over there. Let's use the nail, get another spirit heart. Oop. Oh! Ah. Screw you. Okay. Wow, those guys take a lot of damage. Okay, let's go into this room. Shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully. Uh, I didn't... Alright, I was... Hopefully di I didn't speak too soon there. I don't need that heart. Okay. Oh no, not a spider room. I hate spiders. They're so unpredictable in their movement. Oh! Ooh! Ow. Oh darn. I thought I might beat this room without taking any damage, but not the case, it seems. So here's a pill. Let's use it. Alright, that was kind of convenient. So that was teleport pills, and that teleported us to the shop. And I think... Uh, I'll buy this. Why not? I don't want that other item over there for 15 cents. So 
let's go back over here. I want to find that item room. Um, generally what I do, before I fight a boss, I just clear the entire room. Just to make sure that there's nothing else on it. Let's go down here. Oop! Ah! I hate this room layout. You fight one guy and then the other guy shoots you. So this room right here, you have to have full health to go into. No, you have you have to have uh, half a heart left to go into. My ba my bad, my blah, blah, blah. I can't talk today. My bad is what I meant to say. My mad is what I did say, which makes no sense. You mad? I mad. Oh, oh! I'm kind of slow, so it's hard at dodging those. But this will cure my slowness because. It makes me a little bit faster, and then it also ups my fire rate, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Oh man, I have one more room before my nail charges, so I'm not going to be able to use uh, the nail, my spacebar item, on the boss room, but that's okay. I think we'll do just fine with the way we're sitting right now. Ah, the husk. Not a very difficult boss, if you ask me. Oh, but you see how he's kind of that pinkish color? That means that he's a little bit harder than normal. And that means that he's just going to float around the room a little bit faster. I think I'll be able to deal with him, though. I don't want to speak too soon, though. Ooh. Yeah, this should be fine. There we go. Whoa, that's a lot of guys. So those red guys that sort of are floating around the room right now, whenever you kill them, they just kind of explode into a hail of bullets or tears, if you want to get technical with it. Like that. Alright. So this item right here is called the Cat 09 Tails. And that just increases my shot speed even more. I don't think it lowers my damage. Yes, it did. That's not cool. Alright, well, let's go down anyways. So we are now on the depths part one. Let's go up first. I'm going to use the nail. Oh! Get out of here. And these things over here, they spit out spiders when you get close to them. So they're just kind of obnoxious. They don't really hurt you at all. Oh yeah, when you're in nail form, you can break rocks. It's pretty sick. Okay, let's keep going. So these guys in the middle of the room, the, the ones that I'm shooting right now, you'll notice they're not taking any damage, even though I just did very dumbly. Um, they basically, they don't, they, you, they can't take damage at all is basically what I'm trying to say. You'll notice that they stop shooting now. That's because you have to clear the entire room before they stop shooting. You can't kill them at all. Let's go in the item room. That's a terrible item. I'm not even going to explain it. Uh, this is a bad room. I don't like this. So this guy... Ooh, so that guy in the middle will not stop shooting until I clear the room. Let's kill him. Very good. Oh. Secret room, thank you very much. Alright. Let's continue over to this side. Oop. Oop. So this looks like looks like a dead end up here. We're gonna explore it anyway, just in case there's like a key or something. Speak of the devil. Ah, uh, mini boss. Alright, so the mini bosses are the seven deadly sins. Another biblical reference. And this one is Envy. And he floats around the room, so you might be like, oh well this is easy. Well then he splits into multiple pieces. And the way I recommend dealing with this guy is focusing on one head, and then focusing on the little heads, like so. Oop. And then, that way you have less to dodge in the room, because if you kill them all at once, then it's gonna be a, you're going to have tons of stuff to dodge in the room, and it's going to be very difficult for you. Let's kill this guy. Ah. I might just give you an example of what it looks like dodging dodging all the heads. There we go. <laughs> Gets a little ridiculous sometimes. Whoa! What am I gonna do? Hey. Oh, oh wow, how did I take not take damage there? Very ow, oh, and I took damage there. Damn. Kill this guy. There we go. This guy's like grape soda for blood. That's weird. Look at all that grape soda. Okay, so down 
towards the bottom of the map we have yet to explore. So let's go down there. If there are cobwebs on the floor ever, they slow you down. That's pretty much all they do. They're not there for decoration. They actually do something. Kill this guy. Good. Okay. Even if you guys don't have this game, I highly recommend it. It's a very fun game, and it's only... Ah. It's only five bucks, I believe. Steam Summer Sale was going on. I don't know if it is anymore. That's where I bought, bought this game, by the way, on Steam. And it's it's a great game for the money. I, I recommend it. Let's use the nail. These guys are pretty simple. Okay. Uh, this thing right here is a blood donation machine. And it basically you walk into it and it takes your, your health away. But gives you coins instead. We're just going to blow it up. Because I don't feel like losing hearts. And I thought that was a nice trade-off. Let's go in here and see what's on offering. Alright, so this... This is called a challenge room, and you basically take the item, and then you have to fight three waves of enemies in order to prove your worth. There we go. Whoa! Killed this guy. These guys teleport around and are just kind of- Ow! Where'd you come from? They just kind of make annoying sounds, and that's pretty much all they're good for. Ow! Oh, that was dumb. Alright, these guys you can only shoot in the brain. They will not take damage from their front half. So I have to go around him, shoot him like that, go around... Oh! Ah! <laughs> Stop that. Let me kill you. Very good. So now we are allowed out. I'm pretty quick now. Nice. So let's clear the rest of the floor. Don't need to go down there, I don't think. This is another kind of mini-boss. Not too hard, though. You'll see the boss health is now gone. That was at the top. Oop! Ah. Dang. See, I have so much health, though. It's not really mattering too much. If I... If I take a little bit of damage here and there... Let's continue on. Oh. Alright, so these guys, if you get within their line of sight, they will shoot their heads at you. If you'll notice, their their heads are popping out into these little maggot-looking things, chasing after me and then going back into themselves. Oh, kind of a disgusting-looking guy. If you ask me, they're kind of the most disgusting character model in the entire game. See how that one guy is a different color than the rest of them, though? That means that he's tougher than the rest of them. I think he deals a little bit more damage and will take a little bit more hits. Finally goes down, though, and he bestows us a spirit heart. We cannot get that, so I'm not gonna bother. Ooh. A lot of bombs in this room. I don't like it. Ah. I just walked into him. That was dumb. Oop. Very good. Ah, man. There was no way out of that. If I walked up, I would have been hit by that other bomb. Another spirit heart. Oh, we're taking some damage, though. I need to start being a little bit more careful shoot these guys. Okay. So these guys right over here on the sides, they don't go away no matter if you kill anything in the room. They're just they're just there permanently. And, ow. Alright, I was going to demonstrate by faking it out and not going and not getting hit, but I got hit instead. So these guys, they just kind of hit you. And it's really annoying. So we're going to try and juke our way around it. Alright, here we go. Oh! Alright, I gotta get this guy to go and then go around. There we go. Ow, oh. So those masks right up there. Sorry, I was concentrating for a second. That's why I stopped talking. Those masks, they don't take any damage, but their hearts do. These, They kind of try and protect their hearts. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you basically gotta kill their hearts and the mask just disappears. Oh, you bugger. And see how it went away there. Okay, um, do I want that key? No, I don't bother. I'm gonna try and get to the item room. We're just gonna beeline through the middle. Pick up this, that's a good card. I will show you that in a second. Okay. Um, we're gonna take... We're gonna take this right here. Very good. 
and I believe that is a teleport pill right there. If I do remember correctly. Let's go through. Very good. Boss is right here. So this playing card up here. I didn't explain this before. These are called playing cards. And I press Q. And it has a random effect. Not random. Each card is assigned an effect. But each but that card basically spawns two spirit hearts. It's called the Hierophant. And we're gonna go in here. We are fighting the bloat. And I hate this guy. So we'll see how I do against him. Let's use the nail. Oh, cheap shot, man. So, <laughs> this guy is a very weird boss. He's kind of nasty looking. And his eyes float around the room. Ugh. He sh every time he lands, he jumps and lands, he shoots those, like, bomb-looking things out. And he, ha he has laser beams that he shoots out of his ears and out of his eye sockets. Never thought I would say that before. Oh, come on. Yeah, stop that. Oh, no. That was, oh, <laughs> I hate this guy. And I think he's almost dead. Very good. Alright, so we got a spirit heart. We got a health up. And we got to deal with the devil. Let's see what we got. I want neither of those. Let's see if we... When you shoot the fire, sometimes a coin pops out. That's why I keep sh shooting the fires. It's not for no reason. Let's go down. Okay. Let's see. We got the secret room over here. That question mark over here on the map indicates that the secret room is there. And I do not want that. That basically takes you down to the next level once you use it. And then goes away immediately. I don't really see a use for it right now. I've never seen use for that item. Uh, this guy's called Chubb, and he chases after you. When you. Once you get into his line of sight, like so, we're gonna try something on him though. If I get him to chase me, come here. <laughs> you can get him to swallow bombs and then they blow up in, in his stomach. And I get a good laugh every time I see his face when that happens. Very good. Okay. Let's go this way, shall we? These guys just kind of cough up flies. I'm not talking because I'm concentrating right now. Just for the, <laughs> for the record. If you ever hear just radio silence, I'm not talking because I'm concentrating. Alright. These guys are taking a little more damage than I would like them to. Come on, buddy. There we go. Ooh, that was really close to hurting me. And then they split into those what are called bomb flies, and bomb flies just do exactly what you think they would. They blow up when you kill them. I do not like this room layout. Oh, there's no way to avoid the damage here. Oh my goodness. Oh, dear God, I gotta get out of here. Oh. Alright, a little more manageable now. Uh, let's see if we can get him. Oh. Alright, nice. We're gonna go in the shop just because we have so much money. We have 20 coins, as you see up there. And we are fighting Greed now. Greed randomly appears in the shop sometimes. And it's really lame when that happens because you want to buy stuff and then he's just kind of in your way. And he's a mini boss, mini boss, one of the seven deadly sins if you do not know them. I don't know them either. Seven Deadly Sins, that is. Ooh. Oh, come on. I'm, that's not even their fault. I'm, I'm just dodging really stupidly. Oh, dear. Alright, so we were sitting pretty for a minute there, but now we're doing kind of bad on health. So I gotta start taking less damage is what I need to start doing. Very good. Getting a couple frame rate drops here and there. Nothing to call home about. That's the saying, right? Call home? Run home? Call home? I don't know. I forget the saying. Alright, spiders, come here. Oh! Just get out of there. Come on. I'm gonna take damage as soon as I come near you. There we go. Come here. Yeah, you want to? This guy will come at me. 
I'm not going to go for those coins because I'm going to take damage. Alright, there's the item room. Very good. Best news I've heard all day. And I have no spirit hearts left. This is not good. This let's play, or this little episode, might be over sooner than I thought if I keep playing bad the way I do. Oh no! Uh oh, not good. I gotta use the nail. Get some use out of it. Should use the nail sooner in that room. Alright, let's go in here. Save me. The D20, I believe, is what it's called. Yeah, D20. I don't know what it does. Not gonna lie. It was in the expansion pack, so I don't know what it does, and I'm not gonna pick it up. Oh! <laughs> oh I've completely forgot about those. I just instinctively ran forward in that room. Ugh. This is another version of greed. Um, if he hits me, he will take my money. I forgot to mention, that's what greed does. If greed hits you, he takes your money. Which is kind of lame, if you ask me. There we go. Build it back up. <laughs> These guys, I forgot to mention it before. These guys are known as butt lickers. That is the technical name for them. And I can see why they are named butt lickers, to tell you the truth. But now, they're all dead. Now they're all dead. Blah, now they're all dead. Alright, there's the boss room. I might just go straight to the boss room here. Actually, yeah, I will go straight to the boss room here. I won't clear out the rest of the room. Whoa. I actually kind of want to recharge my nail for the boss. Which I might do. I don't know, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Alright, here we go. Very good. Okay, that guy's dead. And now Chubb is dead. Uh, let's just go fight the boss. And this boss is... Drumroll, please. Mom. <laughs> Her giant fat leg. Oh, no, it's Champion Mom. That's not good. So, Champion Mom is much harder than regular Mom. And she... Normally, the foot comes down a lot slower. With a lot less, like, vigor. I guess you could say. And so this version of Mom is harder. But, I mean, I'm kind of making it look easy right now, I guess, you could say. Whoop! Whoops! Almost screwed up there. Ow! Oh! Making me look bad here. Oh! Making me look even worse. I got, gotta get back into the groove here. Oop. Ah! I see through your plan. Yeah, you just basically want to dodge the foot. Dodge the eye. Oh! Oh! Damn it. Those eyes are just screwing me up whenever they pop out and shoot. But finally, we take out Mom. Pick up everything here. And once you defeat Mom, you'll notice that the doorway closes. I can't go outside now. I have to go down. And this item is called Mr. Squeezy, or just Squeezy. It increases my fire rate. <laughs> you'll notice my character's eyes are now popped out. <laughs> kind of disgusting. And two spirit hearts. So, let's go down. Okay, so now we are in what's called Utero, or Utero 1, and so we are now <laughs> inside Mom, inside the uterus. I don't get it either. Don't ask me. This is where the secret room is, though. Slot machine. I'll show you real quick just to give you an example. You walk into it, you put a coin in, and you get a random chance to get something. We're going to play it one more time. Just for kicks, and then we're going to blow it up. Very nice. Um, we're going to go this way. Oop. So everything in utero does extra damage, so now instead of taking half a heart of damage from each enemy, we're going to be taking a full heart. Um, take this. So this is known as a trinket, and I have no idea what it does. <laughs> there you go, that's your explanation right there. Um, trinkets were added in the expansion, so I kind of don't know what they do. <laughs> they just kind of increase various attributes of your character, and you can pick up different ones and such. Let's kill these guys. I like to call these guys Diglets, because that's what they look like. If you remember the old old Pokemon days, I used to play the crap out of that game. 
Uh, let's go to the shop. Oh no, this isn't a shop. This is a bookshop. Bookstore, whatever it's called. Library, I think. <laughs> I know about this game. I don't want either of those, so we will continue on this way. So I have no idea where the boss room is, so we're just going to kind of wander, wander around aimlessly until we find it. That guy's dead. These guys will soon go down, hopefully. Come on. I'm on TV here. Make me look good. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> eh, teleporting around. There we go. Alright, let's go down. My instincts say down. My instincts are always right. I'm gonna be eating those words later. <laughs> After ten minutes of going by and I still haven't found the boss room. Okay. Get over here. Spiders inside a womb. Does not make any sense. Monsters inside a womb don't really make sense either. Can't be down there. Let's go this way. My gut feeling is saying it's the end. It's at the end of this little hallway. Oh! Oh yeah, so you notice that flashing stuff on the ground right here? Left by that brain looking thing? That is called creep. And if you walk on top of that, you take damage. I don't want to give you an example of that. Because I intend on winning this let's play. Oh yeah, it's permadeath by the way. So once you die in each little run, you're gone forever. You're done. And you have to replay the game. Let's keep- oh man, wasn't there. Okay. <laughs> up to the top. Looks like it's all the way up at the top left over here. Up on that corner. So we'll see if we can make it over there. Ooh, that weird looking eye. That shoots lasers, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I know. This game's weird. Uh, 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 dodge. Oh, of course you popped up there, you little diglet. Alright. Let's go this way. Alright, I like this room layout. Not too hard. There we go. Time for you to die. Alright, so we can use our nail again. I'm going to save it, though, for the boss fight. Just to get some extra damage, make it go a little quicker. Dodging in, in this game is is key, as I fail horribly at dodging. <laughs> Great example there, Buzz. Great job. Um, but yeah, you want to definitely be very maneuverable whenever once you are playing this game. Those guys are going to be annoying and shoot at me. And these guys, oh, I wasn't paying attention. This room is ridiculously hard. I hate these guys. These, these are the kind of guys that when you get in their line of sight, uh, they they fire in your direction and they shoot through themselves which is kind of weird and those guys are the same guys as before see there's the boss room <laughs> my gut instinct was not right as of course once I said it I jinxed myself is that clear? very good alright let's go to the boss we're fighting death that is not good I hate this boss now it's this guy <laughs> shoots sights at you. He's one of the horsemen of the apocalypse. One of the things that plagues this earth. Very difficult boss in my opinion. He also makes you slower by slowing time down. As you just saw. He gets off of his horse and then sends it after you. Uh! Oh, I didn't take damage there. That is very surprising. So let's try and get him dead. Get him dead. I speak English. Oh, he killed the horse. Very good. And he is down. Now I just gotta kill these guys. Which are the same kind of enemies as before. <laughs> and you just gotta shoot him in the back of the head. Alright, awesome. So this guy dropped another cube of meat. And once you get a second cube of meat, you get what's called a meat boy. And he just floats around you and fires along with you. So now he's firing too. And he also blocks shots. So, pretty useful continue on down to the womb part two let's see what's in here nope let's not do that my gut feeling says this way all right so this guy's called judgment and he's a little beggar I gotta walk across these spikes. Mm, darn it 
I did not want to take damage there. So you give him money, which since we have a good supply of, I gave it to him, and he gives you an item. Sometimes. Most of the time. And he gave us the compass, which allows us to see where certain things are, which will be very helpful. So you'll notice I can now see where the boss room is on the map up there. See, it's in the top right corner of the map. Oh, man. I'm taking really dumb damage this game. I was doing so good before. Uh, we're going to see what this is. The Devil. That's a good card. We will continue on up. Curiosity is killing me, but I'm not going to do it. I'm gonna, I know I'm going to take damage there. Alright, so this guy, this enemy, is called a Doppelganger. And he is an exact copy of me. Same fire rate, same movement, same everything. This is how you get rid of him right here. <laughs> oh, crap. I'm trying to be funny here. I'm trying to tell a joke. And you're, you're screwing it up. <laughs> Anyways, that's how you take care of him. You just lay a bomb and then walk him right into it. These guys are just like gut looking things that are kind of nasty. Alright, so this is one of what's considered the final bosses. You'll be kind of surprised by it. Let's go do it. Isaac versus It Lives. So, It Lives <laughs> is a fetus inside the mother's womb. I think it's supposed to be Isaac's fetus, but I'm not really sure. I, I could get into like all the background story of this game, but frankly it's kind of tedious and weird. And there's tons of theories behind what each character means and such, and what the meaning of the game is. I just prefer to play it rather than try and understand it. I do enjoy the biblical references though, I think they make it interesting. This guy's Monstro. He's one of the bosses. There we go. I usually lay bombs under under it lives just to do some extra damage here and there. Oops. Oh, eyes. Whenever eyes spawn, you just kind of run in circles and try and hit them as I was not doing there. So now basically it lives just spawns a whole bunch of enemies. You got to fight through them and then uh, pop the heart and the schnoz. Not the heart, the baby, I guess. Once it comes down like so. The second here. Alright, there we go. This is called the Duke of Flies. Alright, here we go. So in a second here. Oh, ouch. Oh wow, I have the devil card. I sh should be playing that. I guess I'll save it now. There's no point in using it now. What the Devil card does is it gives me increased damage for a room. Oy! Oh no. Not good. Whoa. Sound. <laughs> Lots of it. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. Now it's just gonna stay down and start randomly firing bombs. Hopefully we don't get hit. That'd be mean! Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got a heart. Very good. Frame rate. <laughs> okay, so you'll notice this like light right here. That means we are going to the final level, and it is called the Cathedral. And we have the Curse of Darkness. That is not good. That means, you see our map up here? We don't have one this floor. Curse of Darkness occurs randomly, and we got it on the worst floor possible to have it on. I kind of screwed up talking there. That was weird. Whoop! And that is a great start for the last level. This is a very hard level. Basically, each each room is like a boss fight. This guy is actually a boss. And he's just appearing in a regular room, which is kind of annoying. Yeesh. Um, here's what we're going to do here. We're going to bomb our way through. Oh, dear God. <laughs> oh, no. I only have a heart left. Run. Go through. Damn it. <laughs> Now I have to redo that entire floor. These fires shoot at you, by the way. When they're red like that, that means they shoot at you. So we might end up dying right now. Hopefully not. I'll give it my best shot. 
but we only have one heart left, and we're on the hardest, hardest level in the entire game. I'm not quite sure of our odds right now. Oh. Oop. Like I said before, I'm not any pro at this game. Very good. I get back here. Try and blow that bomb up. Oh! Very, very close. Very, very close to the final boss. That was a very fun let's play indeed. That's not the entire let's play. I'm basically gonna. I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna play as all the all the different characters, and then we might call it quits on the let's play there. We might play a little bit more here and there. But that was very fun. Uh, a little recording session right there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys continue to give this series a chance. I know you probably don't have this game, but I do enjoy your feedback. So let me know if you would like me to cut these episodes down shorter, or something like that, speed them up in certain parts, because I know it can be a little bit dry if you don't have the game or don't know what I'm talking about at all. But next time it'll be a little bit less explainy, a little bit more playy, if that's a word. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed very much. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. There's my outro. I forgot it for a sec. <laughs> and I will see you next time.